What we got here to show you today is a, uh, I believe, late 1980s uh, Dixie Narco 7-Up machine. Um, I, uh, I remember these machines very rarely as a kid, seeing them every so often, and then the flipped upside down one was a Dr. Pepper. Um, anyway, we got this machine, we traded for this machine in 2007, I believe 7 or maybe 6. Uh, we traded a uh, Inspiron 1100. And if anybody knows Dell Inspirons, uh, it was a fairly crappy computer then, and it is a really crappy, totally worthless computer now. So we definitely got the better end of the deal. Plus, I think, Dave, you got that laptop for like 50 bucks or something, right? I didn't even think I paid for it. <laughs> I got it for free from customers. And look, this doesn't depreciate in value anywhere near as much as that piece of no, junk did. it may increase in value. What we've had to do to it, uh, obviously locked, it had no key. We had to replace the, uh, this whole lock is replaced. It's unlocked right now. Um, and uh, you had to replace that on the inside, right, Dave? Some of the uh, actuators. Okay. They were just missing. Well, let's take a look at the inside of this thing real quick. Yeah, I'm going to hold back the junk on the top. So what we got it loaded up here is um, we have 7-Up. Uh, uh, the one, two, and three, and four slots are double slots, so they hold more than all the others. And uh, what I have in here for a special occasion is the uh, pre-formula change 7-Up from back in 2006. It was the second time they changed the 7-Up formula. 7-Up used to be my favorite non-cola soda until they changed it. Fucking 100% all natural. Tastes like friggin' lemon lime seltzer. Anyway, so this is a special occasion. I got one of my bottle, my cans out of my reserve. What better to uh, time to uh, drink it than out of an actual 7-Up machine? Then over here we've got uh, slot number two. We've got Mellow Yellow. Uh, and then now these are equipped for being able to put bottles in. So I guess that's why there's a door. So if you open up the door here, um, let's see. We got Moxie in slot five. We got Sprite in six and seven, and in slot number eight. We, uh, we take out this back rail here, and we can actually fit the 10-ounce PLB bottles in here, the, uh, the ones that tonic water and uh, ginger ale always come in, that soda used to come in. I do vaguely remember that. And uh, three and four, we got nothing in, because we ain't got no more soda. As we open up this, we get access to the front. And let's see, this is the dollar bill changer, this is the coin machine, and you can see this coin slot is, is just about had it. It does somehow manage to still work, as long as you push the quarters a little to the left when you put them in the slot. So we're going to give it a try. Everything worked fine when we did a test run of this machine, but uh, you know how that goes. As some, uh, some jerk put a bunch of crappy labels in here, what do we got? A bunch of garbage, orange juice and a can, never heard of it. Uh, Nesty iced tea, that's all right. Diet Snapple, blech. Gatorade, eh. V8 juice, oh boy. It's V8 yeah, with the label cut. Yeah, the friggin' apple juice. Apple cranberry juice. I call that crapple juice, cranberry apple. And then uh, Poland Spring. It actually will dispense the 8-ounce bottles of Poland Spring. And uh, that's where the ginger ale is, the uh, PLB bottles. It also came with a couple of these. These here are the uh, labels that fit this machine because it's on an angle. We got Diet Cherry 7-Up, Royal Crown Cola, Diet RC, which looks like it was cut from another machine, and uh, Sparkling Hawaiian Punch. 10% fruit juice. Is that what that actually says? Yes, it does. We're in the middle of a rainstorm here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's give this uh, machine a try. Let me get my can of quarters out. So we carefully put our coins in. One. Okay. One for seven up. Ah, look at that. Got ourselves a not effed up tasting seven up. Well, actually, maybe it is effed up tasting. Let's give it a try. This is, uh, I believe, 2006 is when they switched formulas. I was so pissed when I did that. Oh, 
Want to call the hospital? <laughs> no, actually, it tastes good. It's just not as carbonated. Oh man. This was some good shit. Yep. All that out of that thing. Mm. Okay, well, now let's check all the others. So let's try the others. For a mellow yellow. There we go. Perfect. Oh, it's even getting cold. The machine cools very, very well. Now I'll show you the uh, the uh, one that dispenses the bottles. There you go. Ah, sweet. I've never seen bottles come out of a soda, these 10 ounce bottles come out of a soda machine. Same here. <laughs> out of quarters. We're going to have to show it uh, its slot machine mode. <laughs> yeah. Press the manual coin return button. You ready? Yep. <laughs> sweet. Slot machine mode. Ding, 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 ding. Light goes on, so we know what, we got the correct amount of money in there. The V8 juice should be moxie. There we go. And uh, last but not least, let's uh, try slot seven, six, and seven with the sprites in them. This is this will be our video record of this machine working at one point. If you have flashes like that, that means you put in enough money. There we go. Got a sprite. So if we move those bars in the back of the slots around, we can configure it to dispense different size cans, such as uh, this adult beverage I put in there. If I can. Yeah, got it to dispense a 16 ounce can. There we go. Sweet. So these these uh, things back in the back of the slots, if you you can pull them out and you can move them, you can see we've got them in different heights to fit different types of cans. So it's not just 12 ounce cans or the, uh, the those 10 ounce glass bottles. You can make it fit like pretty much anything you want, uh, as long as it is a uh, you know <laughs> perfectly round shape. Long neck bottles and stuff. I mean, you know, a can like this, it's perfectly cylindrical, it works. Long neck bottles, as Dave found out, by totally wasting uh, two bottle. bottles of mics. Yep. Uh, do not dispense. <laughs> they, it, it, it jams it, and then as it, as you try, if you try to unjam it, it pops the cap <laughs> off of it. It dumps everything yeah. out the shit. Now we can manually actually, Dave took the cover off here, so we can manually actuate it by pressing this button on the relay. There we go. And there you have it. Late 1980s <laughs> vintage, Late 1980s vintage Dixie Narco 7-Up machine. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed standing out in a rainstorm. Until next time, you know, don't die.